Country Transport Conference worked principally because of the very high level of engagement by the government, particularly the Ministry of Transport, who was uh, greeted the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister sat through the opening session. So for everybody wanting to know what the high level strategy of Qatar is uh, towards its transport infrastructure, you were at exactly the right conference because the Minister of Transport set out how Qatar wishes to develop an integrated transport network, seaports, airports, roads and railways. presentation on the expansion of the Hamad International Airport was the, the real highlight for me because it was the first time that the NDIA steering committee had actually publicly unveiled its plans and it was, it was full of detail and I know all the contractors in the room that I was sat with they were extremely fascinated and interested by this project because it's an upcoming project which they can bid for and they had never heard this information in, in such depth and detail um, but, uh, uh, before so for, for us, it was for all of us in the room. It was, a, it was an eye opener and really, really interesting. Qatar's transport sector is one of the most, world's most active. Uh, we're talking about some forty billion dollars worth of transport projects still to come in Qatar. So including the second phase of the metro and the, uh, the, the first phase and second and later phases of the long distance freight and passenger network, the airport expansion, ongoing work at the port and of course the local roads and drainage programme and the expressways programmes, just to name but a few. So there's going to be plenty of work to come in Qatar. The transport uh, market in Qatar is going to be dominated by one of the world's great investment programmes. No country in the world has ever attempted to do so much so quickly as Qatar is doing in the transport sphere. It includes a brand new airport, a brand new seaport, a complete integrated metro system, a railway line, plus the world's most ambitious expressway programme. So altogether the investment programme is at standing at the end of it all Qatar will have the most modern, technologically advanced transport system in the world.